Hey everyone, welcome back to more Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we, um, did stuff. But anyway, um, I do want to talk about something in this episode. This is the first episode I've recorded since I stopped recording this game. So this is the first episode I've actually, like, um, recorded since February. And I have a microphone this episode. So I'm kind of testing it out. Um, this episode turned out a bit weird because, um, I recorded in a different setting. I think I did full screen instead of widescreen. That'll be, that'll be back to normal this, this episode. But I mean, I honestly think it looks better. But, because when I had a widescreen, it was fuzzier. It was like, it was kind of, kind of staticky. Although, it's not this episode. And you know what? I'm actually going to stop this real quick because I need to make some edits on this video. I just realized. I'll be back in a minute. So, hand hey, back. Anyway, so, um, I had to make some edits since I completely forgot that. There's, like, um, a moment of fail later on the video that I didn't really cut out. Although, this is my first time using my microphone, and I'm kind of excited. I, I have a headset, and, um, basically what I'm doing is I have a MacBook Pro, and that's how I record these videos. I use a Mac capture card. I, everything I own is Mac. A oh, Mac every day. Once you go Mac, you don't go black. Um, so we're gonna try to find this bug real quick. Anyway, um, so, since my computer doesn't have a microphone and an audio jack, I had to buy this, um, and I'm using head head headset that uses, ha has an audio and a microphone jack. So basically, I have this kind of ghetto setup. I'll put a picture on screen right now of it. Anyways, it's, um, I, I, I bought this splitter on Amazon where it's just USB and you can plug it in and it has a microphone jack and a, um, a headset jack. So I have this microphone jack and this headset jack and it's coming out of a USB. Although what I realized is I can't, since my USB is so close together, I can't plug in my USB capture card to do that and have, I can't plug in my USB capture card and have this in. So, I went on Amazon and I bought a USB extension cord, which I didn't realize existed, but they do. I mean, I figured out if they existed, why wouldn't they exist? Although, I do like using the microphone. I feel like I can kind of record out, like in the outside area my house is, and not bother my family as much, because I'm talking relatively quietly right now, and I'm pretty sure no one can hear me. <laughs> Anyway, a little bit about the game, um, we just got both bugs in the area, they're pretty easy to find, you'll probably just find them by wandering around the area anyway, so it's not that, you don't have to go much out of your way to find them. A lot of the bugs, you'll find, you'll notice that they're gonna be in pretty easy to locate areas. Anyway, so we gotta, um, you can use your claw shot to hook up here, and then you can hook shot onto the pea hats, which I think the pea hats look kinda cool in this game. In Wind Waker, they look kinda cartoony. I mean, obviously, it, I mean, that's, it's, it's a freaking cartoon game, that's why I look cartoony. But, um, and they look really realistic in this game, I like that, because I'm pretty sure I have no idea what they actually are. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Anyway, um, so, if you notice, we found the bridge that, um, the bridge of Elm that was taken back in part 24. Anyway, um, yeah, so we got the bridge of Elm, so... Go ahead and go and fight these guys. Um, this is... <sighs> they're gonna, um, create a warp portal as soon as we finish these guys, and we can be able to return the bridge back, which... It's nice to just kind of complete everything, have everything kind of done, have Hyrule kind of all open up. But, um, it really doesn't do much since we can warp everywhere now. Oh my god, guys, what the fuck? Come on, back. But it really doesn't mean much since we can warp now. Like, I would have loved for that bridge to be connected. Because it kind of connected the, um, the first and the second twilight areas and to the third twilight area. Since those areas were kind of, um, um, like things have my hands right now. But anyway, they were kind of separated a little bit. And it was a little hard to travel around Hyrule and do side quests and stuff before that. Like, to go to the, um, that mini fire temple, that mini fire dungeon thing, we had to, like, um, go all the way around. Anyway, so we can go ahead and warp this, um, bridge back to, um, the bridge of Elm. So let's go ahead and, um, step right in front of it and warp. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Minus is like, mm-hmm, girl. 
I like the music in the desert. It's really, it's, it's really cool. Anyways, so then the bridge is gonna um, materialize into twilight ness, twilightiness, <laughs> twilightiness. The bridge will do twilightiness. So the bridge is just gonna kind of materialize back into place, and somehow it just kind of nicely fits in like a puzzle piece. <laughs> Anyway, and some and for some reason we get warp there. I don't know. And for some reason I transform back into a human ear. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta make this more even. It's a little crook. It's a little um uneven. Yeah, but I'll make sure to go back to recording in full screen next time. I record, which I don't know. I might. I might. Cause usually when I do a dungeon, I usually just do it in all one, and I'm not really in kind of. I'm not really in the dungeon mood tonight, honestly. So I might up I might I'm probably gonna upload this after I finish since I was gone for two days. And it's cause I mean I was thinking that if I upload a video let's see, if I upload a video every single day or almost every like say I upload eight eight videos a week. Actually let's say let's say about seven. Cause I might upload two on one day or I'll zero on another, because that's kinda how I do it. Because, I mean, yesterday I was hanging out with my friends all day, so I couldn't do anything with video. <laughs> Pretty much all day. They were over from, like, I woke up at 11, I came over at 12, and then left at 7. Then I went to dinner with family, and then it was 9. Although, a new game came in the mail, which I'm going to keep a secret since I'm going to let's play the game next. <laughs> I've already decided that. And I was playing that last night, and I'm excited for this let's play. It's going to be so much fun. Anyway, it's definitely not as serious of a game as this, because it's pretty. It's a pretty chill game, honestly, and it's gonna be really super short, probably less than 20 parts. Although it's not an older game, so you can kind of think about that for yourself. Like, what is it gonna be? How is he gonna do it? Anyway, um, so it looks like we kind of found the um, the um, Dublin like headquarters or something. It, like. <laughs> And he feels like he's just like sliding on the grass. He's like, do 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 do. <laughs> okay, so it took me a long. It took me about five minutes to find the boar since they like they were chasing me. Although I and I had no idea where they went. Anyway, you gotta find a boar and you gotta um smash through these gates. So you can do that by dashing with them. Just push A and they will destroy things. I feel like since I'm not talking, I'm not. I have a microphone loud, and I'm not talking loud at all, like, in the overall scheme of things. I feel like I'm not being as energetic. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, this is definitely a, kind of a testing video. I am going to keep this footage, and I am going to upload it as soon as I'm done here. But, I mean, I hope the commentary is nice. So, the reason I cut out the wolf is because I've been talking about this bide and we played through this game. And I got that at same hints earlier, and that was the home splitter. We got that in part 34, I think. Or maybe in last part. I don't know, but we just got it. <laughs> now, the reason I turned on my lantern is because because my capture card, it does something to the picture that's on the TV. Because I'm using splitters, and splitters can get a bit kind of fuzzy with the quality that you're recording in terms of how it's going to appear on both ends. Because one of the ends is usually going to kind of get stuff snubbed out for whichever end is, um receiving it so it's receiving it from my TV to my computer and I have I have both the images on my um TV and my computer screen so it's um the the TV screen is usually a bit distorted a little bit and that's why I kinda had trouble. So later on in this episode I ended up just having to um just having to look at my computer screen because it was so dark on my TV. That's why I had my lantern on. And I couldn't see I couldn't see shit. I couldn't see anything. Like, I was, like, looking around, just like, how do I walk? <laughs> anyway, um, so this is kind of a little fun sniping section. You get to, um, now, I actually didn't pick up the Hawkeye. I'm going to do that off screen, probably in between this episode and the next, maybe. We won't really need it if <laughs> we actually needed it here, but that's too bad. Oh, well. doesn't matter anymore. Anyway, um, so <laughs> you're going to get this scene every time you enter a new area and these guys are gonna try to shoot arrows at you and just stuff anyway we're gonna we're gonna close range shoot him with an arrow ooh we hit that guy right in the neck it's very nice good job Link 
you kill things very nicely. Anyway, so this is kind of kind of a cool area. I just want to see. I wanted to see how many heart pieces we have since we're going to be getting a new heart piece in a, like five minutes, I think. And we'll probably get a new heart container in the next dungeon, which I think this is. I think I have the most heart pieces you can possibly have. Maybe you might be able to have a second row by now. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so every time you kill one of these things, you're gonna have to, um, like, see a new cutscene of them going through and everything. But, um, yeah, and every time you kill them, you're gonna have to see that of them falling and smashing into- Oh my god! Where did these guys come from? There are four of them! What the crap? <laughs> I would kill you, sir. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, there it is. Now, this is actually a pretty kind of, this is probably the funniest hard piece in the game. You have to beat the shit out of this piece of, out of this um, pig, and a heart piece comes out for some reason. And then you're going to want to pick up um, this key, because we're going to need it, so that's dun 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 Anyway, because there's a gate over here that we need to take care of. And we have a kind of an interesting part of the game, which is kind of weird, I don't really know, actually. <laughs> no, I, I do know what it is, but, because this is, this is post-commentary, like I said. But, I mean, I always find this part a bit strange. It doesn't... I mean, you could say that it has a purpose later on. Kind of, but not really. Anyway, so you're going to see this guy again, which, he's back. Why not, right? <laughs> So we have to fight him. Now we actually... Oh, shit. Dude, what the fuck? So we have to have a hand-to-hand -hand combat fight with him this time. And I feel kind of bad for him, because I annihilated him. Look at this. And we're just, we're just beating him up. I think we're about to get hit, I think. Yep. <laughs> I can tell the future. Anyway, but you just have to kind of beat him. There's, it's very easy. You shouldn't have a problem with it. Yep, and then this part is even stranger than what just happened. So he's gonna, like, limp out. <laughs> For some reason, Link doesn't try to, like, kill him or something. Because he has caused us problems before. I would actually kind of like to find out, like, the backstory of this guy. Like, why? Who is he? What is he doing? I'm pretty sure they're working for Ganon, maybe? Or maybe for maybe even for Zamp. But you're gonna find out that he's not really a bad guy later on. But anyway, Zant, I mean, <laughs> not Zant, yes, Zant is gonna set this place on fire. So what you have to do is you have to get, you have to get on the board, and you have to run out of there. And just dash, and as soon as you get up here, you get an automatic cutscene. Yep, <laughs> this part's pretty interesting. It doesn't really have a point, <laughs> but it's there. Anyways, yep, so there's our next temple. Thank you, Mr. Boar. Mr. Boar. No, I no speak Boar. Is Boar even a language? I want. Uh, I wonder what language animals think in. It's probably not even a language, it's probably just like. Then again, I wonder what people. I wonder what people who are deaf speak. I don't know. These are all very interesting questions. Anyway, that's gonna be a pill over here, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and transform into a wolf. You can try to attack him. Anyway, just go ahead and rip out his heart. And let's see. Um that's good. There's something else on the other side. We can um I this is probably just gonna be rupees, but we can I still wanna check anyway. Just in case you wanna find out what it is. Anyway, so a magical chest is going to appear. And let's see what it is. Oh, it's just rupees. That's a dopey way to end the episode. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the new Twilight Princess and see you guys next time for the start of the Arbor Ground. See you guys next time.